welcome to episode number 97 of the ABCs from God Sharing the Truth About Being Christian. Today's show is entitled, A King Led by God. In last week's episode, we showed you the power of having a localized government. If you're new to our channel, welcome, and please join the conversation in the comments section following the video. To make a PayPal financial donation, please go to my description below for the business inquiries email and thank you in advance for supporting us to share the truth about being Christian. Three boys were on a playground and they were bragging about their dads. One said, my dad scribbles a few words, calls it a song, and they pay him $50. Oh yeah, my dad scribbles a few words, calls it a poem, and they pay him $100. That's nothing, said the third kid. My dad scribbles a few words, calls it a sermon, and it takes six people to collect all the money in the room. Now, a minister with a large flock can take in a lot of money, not unlike a king who sends out tax collectors for all the people throughout the kingdom. Yet both the minister and the king must be in good standing with the people to have a successful tenure. Otherwise, a revolt may occur. But what if the minister and the king are not on good terms with God? Listen to how God called the kings of Judah to repent. Bible quote. From the book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verses 2, 7, 16, 17, 19, and 20. Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord has spoken. I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. Your country is desolate, your cities are burned with fire. Strangers devour your land in your presence, and it is desolate as overthrown by strangers. Wash yourselves, make yourselves clean. Put away the evil of your doings from before my eyes. Cease to do evil. Learn to do good. Seek justice. Rebuke the oppressor. Defend the fatherless. Plead for the widow. If you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. But if you refuse and rebel, you shall be devoured by the sword. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Kings, back then and now, can choose to be with or without the Lord. Interestingly, throughout history, the kings who have not been with God have had a kingdom that ended in a spiraling downfall, as in Judah in the Old Testament times. There is a new king in England this past week, King Charles III, after the passing of his mother, Queen Elizabeth II, following her 70-year reign. How will this new king rule? Will he be a success under the rule and guidance of God? Or will he make the historical error of going his own way and leaving God's counsel, thus bringing a calamity to the British monarch? Bible quote. Again from the book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verses 26 to 28. I will restore your judges as at the first, and your counselors as at the beginning. Afterward, you shall be called the city of righteousness, the faithful city. Zion shall be redeemed with justice, and her penitence with righteousness. The destruction of transgressors and of sinners shall be together, and those who forsake the Lord shall be consumed. O oh, dear King Charles III, may you not abandon the God of this world, but may you put your faith and trust in him, continuing to bring prosperity and goodwill to your country and beyond. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you, Lord, for your grace-filled loving kindness through the actions and life of your begotten Son, Jesus Christ. You, Lord, are our only true King. Dear Lord, we pray, as your saints, we pray for the leaders in this world to be, to be followers of you and your wise counsel. May they all accept the judgment that they are sinners, yet delivered from this sin by the blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. May we now, as cleansed sinners, heed your wisdom from the Holy Bible, turning from sin and following you in faith 
from this day forwards. Amen. Well, please join with me for next week's show entitled, A God of Miracles. Oh, if you enjoyed the show, please now hit the pause button and help support this channel by smacking the like and subscribe buttons. Hit the bell to always get our latest episode. And please comment and share today's show with someone who you think would enjoy it or benefit from it, possibly your minister. For those of you who are currently without a church group, please feel free to go to my description and listen to a weekly sermon from the Richmond Alliance Church. We also recommend our brothers down south, Alistair Bay at Truth for Life, and John MacArthur at Grace to You. My well, friend, if you've just come to Jesus Christ or have been following him for a while, begin or keep up your daily habit of reading the Holy Bible. Be part of a Bible-based church and join with my friends and I in sharing God's truths, his ABCs, about being Christian. God bless you.